Okay, hello. My name is Pete Pizzatello. I'm uh, part of the product marketing group here at CAST. And I wanted to thank you uh, for, for all taking your time to join us today for today's webcast. As I mentioned, uh, today's webinar, uh, we have four speakers today. Um, I'm going to provide just a quick overview of each of the speakers. Uh, their bios are available on the website and on the, on the registration page if you want the full details. Uh, please do. Uh, our first panelist today is uh, Dr. Richard uh, Mark Soli. He's the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, uh, Officer at OMG. Uh, he's responsible for the vision and direction of the world's largest consortium of its type. Uh, they work on standards uh, across industries, including the Corvus specifications, vertical market standards. Uh, they've led to the first unified modeling language standard, as well as the model-driven architecture and some of the uh, SOA, SOA consortium. Uh, Dr. SOA Soli is also the executive director of the Cloud Standards Customer Council at OMG. Our next panelist is Shivaram Ganesh. He's the vice president and global head of the Assurance Services for Tata Consultant Services Limited. Uh, he runs the Enterprise Assurance Service business for TTS, and he owns the end-to-end -end, end -end responsibility for strategy, go-to-market, delivery excellence, um, and ensuring that service is consistent to TTS customers in the software assurance and testing space. Under his leadership, the ASU group has shown rapid growth contributing to um, more than 7.7% of TCS revenues and serving a large customer base across many industries and geographies. Our next presenter is Bill Martorelli. He's a principal analyst serving sourcing and vendor management professionals. His primary research responsibilities on uh, application sourcing strategies. Uh, in this role, Bill advises sourcing and vendor management professionals on successful outsourcing and service management strategies involving both global and offshore and nearshore providers. And finally, our last panelist is Lev Lazokin. He's the Executive Vice President of Strategy and Market Development for CAST. Uh, he's responsible for CAST market development, thought leadership, and product marketing worldwide. Uh, he comes from us, comes to CAST from SAP, where he was the Director of, of Global SME Marketing. His previous experience working at the Corporate Executive Board as one of the leaders of the Application Executive Council. And he works where he works with heads of application organizations at Fortune 1000 companies to identify best management practices. Today's topic is reducing software risk through improved quality measures. Just to explain the format, we're going to let um, each of the presenters pr uh, have a, a chunk of time to present some of their thoughts and slides, um, and there will be some discussions scattered throughout. So we're going to start with, um, with Bill. All right, well, thanks a lot, and uh, welcome, everybody. I'm going to offer a few observations to kind of kick off the, uh, the panel discussion. Uh, I guess I'd like to start by observing that, you know, quality has always been a challenge, uh, and, and a lot of organizations continue to struggle with how best to organize for and execute for, uh, automate for, and, and strategize for software quality. But I think, you know, in today's environment, the challenges are, are, are heightening and, and becoming more, more difficult and more challenging over time. And I list here just a slide that we like to use at Forrester talking about some of the, the major factors that are influencing today's uh, IT ecosystem, both from the product as well as the services perspective. And, you know, certainly the idea that so many innovations are occurring at once is, is, is notable, right? It used to be we typically observe that, that major shifts would come one at a time, right? Client, server, main for, uh, uh, web and whatnot. But today there's a really pro pro proliferation of uh, waves hitting at once, social, mobile, big data, you name it. But I think I'd want to really observe on, on two factors here more, more specifically, and that is the, you know, the changing expectations uh, for the performance of software and its quality uh, being driven across a, a numerous dynamics and numerous factors, not only including increased reliance on externally facing systems, which I'll get to, but also the changing expectations of, of uh, new, new user demographics and, and the like. And also, you know, the idea that, that this idea that innovation increasingly is moving to, to the edge of, of the, uh, the, the network, as principally manifested by mobile uh, types of services. I'll spend a moment or two on that. But yeah, you know, we we have kind of embraced uh, a philosophy at Forrester, or at least a a, a model uh, pioneered by Jeffrey Moore, uh, and that is uh, his distinction between the uh, or the the bifurcation between uh, 
systems of record or, or systems that are typically back office in orientation uh, and systems of engagement. And, and, you know, these systems of engagement are, I guess you could argue, the, 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 the focus or at least the growing focus of development. Sure, the numbers are not as great yet, but they are growing very rapidly. You know, for a host of systems that, you know, basically engage with the customer, right, for a variety of products and services, you know, typified by some of the uh, mobile applications you might carry around on your Apple or Droid device and the like. But but looking very broadly, uh, you know, the focus of, of innovation in software is increasingly on this category of systems and all the challenges that that entails from the standpoint of quality and uh, and, and reliability, performance, and the like.